Davis and Jill Davis visited the University of Maryland's Children's Hospital, spending time with the children battling cancer. The Davis family announced a new partnership with the University of Maryland's Children's Hospital back in December. Together, they serve as ambassadors for the Children's Hospital and help raise awareness for children's illnesses. Now, I talked with Chris Davis a little while ago about visiting the young kids at the University of Maryland's Children's Hospital. I think it just comes down to priority. Um, obviously, when we're at home and we have a chance to be with our family and, and um, kind of relax and check out for a little bit, uh, it's nice. But um, you also understand that you know playing for the Orioles, being a part of this community, um, gives you a chance to really do some, some cool things. And, and I want to take every advantage of that um, opportunity. And, and I think my wife feels the same way. What kind of satisfaction do you get there, mainly? Uh, I enjoy it. You know, I mean, I, I, for whatever reason, maybe it's because I still feel like I'm, you know, a 10 year old kid uh, in between the years <laughs> and don't ask Jill, but she might say I probably still am at times. But um, I enjoy, you know, hanging out with those kids and just kind of, um, you know, just spending some time with them, whether it's uh, just sitting there talking. I mean, I feel like uh, with everything that they have going on in their lives, um, it, it's a nice little break for them. I hope it's a nice little break for them to just kind of um, check out and, and feel like they're hanging out. Hopefully they, they view me as one of their buddies, but we'll see. Is there any little story maybe you can reflect on with one of them? <laughs> uh, I mean, we don't really, um, you know, we don't really talk a whole lot about, I mean, we'll talk a little bit about baseball. Um, we don't really talk a whole lot about what they're they're going through, um, but I think just um, the overall attitude that that every kid that I've been in contact with um, seems to have it, it leaves an, a, a really um, a deep impression on me. Just because it's so easy uh, in this lifestyle to complain about little bitty things here and there, and and you see a kid going through that who's um, more optimistic than you are most of the time, it, it puts things in perspective. So um, I enjoy uh, going up there. I plan on doing it quite often, and I uh, look forward to seeing the guys again. And obviously, Joel enjoys it too with going with you. Yeah. So I mean, they um, they actually talked to her last fall about uh, this cuddler program they have. So they have you know, a certain number of babies that um, just need the, the nurturing uh, time, the cuddle time with their parents. But, you know, some of these moms have more than one kid or they have to, you know, go to work and they, they just can't be there for that. So there's actually a program where you can become a certified cuddler. So, um, yeah, what little time that we have together uh, when we're home, I think is going to get even shorter because if it's between me and a baby, I got no shot. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!